Just a bit of drag at Eurovision, don't worry about it. You're lying! This is better than sport, right? Yeah. It's like the Gay World Cup. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. You're not wearing rhinestones, you're not doing Eurovision. Hi, Hi. Tia! Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Do you want a little bevy? This one on the side. Oh, thank you, you know me! Bit of sauerkraut, I don't really know what sauerkraut is. Oh, I'll, I'll teach you about that. Do you, do you know anything about Eurovision, though? I know nothing about Eurovision, not a slight thing. The Eurovision Song Contest is the world's biggest international music competition. For the first time, people get to vote if they're not actually part of the country. So the vote. whole world can vote? Yeah, literally. Can the whole world watch? I, yeah, absolutely. Stream it. Right, everyone's got the internet. VPN? I think that's illegal. Illegal. Yeah. Mm. Last year, Ukraine won, but the UK came second. But yep. because of the war in Ukraine, we're hosting it on Ukraine's behalf. Right. So it's taking place in Liverpool. I reckon it'd be easier if we just watch some of it. Come and on we then. Can, like chat. Mm -hmm. Should we do it? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, let's do it. Abby did Eurovision Song yeah. Contest. I didn't never know that. That's what made them like a big deal. That's why everyone's obsessed now. Ah, uh, well, people should know. Does everyone know that? I don't know, but people should. You don't end up with Mamma Mia, the movie, without Eurovision. I'm, my head's blown, my mind's blown. Actually pretty legendary. They've brought them back like a few times to like perform at like really? interval shows and stuff. Iconic. Just a bit of drag at Eurovision, don't worry about it. I'd never do drag. I know this one. Conchita. Yes. We love a bearded queen. Did she uh, win? Yes, for Austria. Really? Yeah. She won. I, I saw her Austria. everywhere. She went everywhere, didn't she? She did. She travelled the world. Do you know what, Conchita? I'm letting my hair down now. Go on. Yeah. I've got mine down. I've got mine a bit like Conchita's, really. <laughs> I see that. I could. <laughs> do you want me to draw on a beard? <laughs> oh, icon. They won. And they like... Where are they from? They're from Italy. They won, absolutely smashed it. I think they like performed at the Grammys. I think that they look really cool. I, yeah. He's gonna need a strepsil after that. <laughs> it's just a bit of lordy, they won. Did they? I'm, yeah. a bit, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, this is last year's right. Eurovision Song Contest. Oh, there's a lot of, um, we put a lot of money into it, haven't there? Oh yeah, there's budget. There it's is budget. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like back in the day, because when they first started yeah. in 1956, there were only seven countries that competed. Right, okay. But now there are like so many, 37, who are competing this year. So there's a bit more budget. So what's happening here is all the countries coming out. Yeah, everyone sort of comes out in like a flag parade. Um, greeting. Yeah, it's very like Olympics vibe. Is that a band? Yeah, they're the U it, Ukraine. Is one. that allowed? You can only have six people on stage. Right. So that's like you can have one singer and like five dancers or is like. It max six people, yeah, that's it. No more. Right, okay. So if you had six people in the band, there's no one else coming on. Right, if you've got seven people in the band, you've got, got to kick one yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. This is the grand final of last year's competition. Right, okay, okay. You've got rounds in your own country to represent. And then you go to a semi-final, and then the people who win that one go. Is it into quite the a long final. process, or? No, this is all, all takes place over a week. So you've got a semi-final on a Tuesday, semi-final on a Thursday, grand final Saturday. Who's this? Sam Ryder, our representative from last year. Is he from the United Kingdom? Yes. I know him. Probably. The song did pretty well. Oh, did he release this? Yes. I think I've danced to this on a nightclub. I believe that. I, I think really I definitely do. have. What's happening here? Right, so they go through like, someone from each country gets to like turn up on a green screen and tell you how many points the people who voted were. So you get a panel of music experts from each country. And is that them? Oh no, no. Yeah, is that them? They like, they're just telling you what the juries did. So there's like a few uh, people get, on the yeah, panel. I get you. So they're presenting what the juries have said. Yeah. So you've got to ring up and you get, a, every time someone rings up, you get a- Do you know what? It's exactly like X Factor. That's a lot of points for Ukraine. This is last year's? Yeah. The one in the bucket hat. Yeah. Yeah. So you get down to the final few as you're getting the public vote and like the points are ridiculous. Anything could happen. Yeah. It's a roller coaster of emotions. Yes. Sometimes I have to just like breathe through it. Yeah, and yeah, calm yeah. Myself I can down. see it's tense. Yeah, it's a lot. Look at that. Look how proud they Ukraine are. Ukraine won there. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, I'm happy for them. 
That's their glass microphone trophy, like every year. Oh. Iconic. It's been, and that's been from the very beginning I've always had that. I think so. Thank you for supporting Ukraine. This victory is for every Ukrainian. Slava Ukraini! So once you win, you get to perform your winning song right. again on stage, and it's iconic. Everyone's singing along. Some people cry. One time, I think someone broke this the trophy. <gasps> this no! No, but it was kind of fierce. Okay, so these are some of the ones from this year. Right. Oh, this is this year. This is Lorene for Sweden. She's won They've it They've really upped the game, haven't mm -hmm. they? She, she's won once before, and now she's coming back to try and win it twice. I love this one. Austria. It's all about Edgar Allan Poe. You can enter more than once. Can you? What about three times? You can enter three times. Could you enter every single year? If you or would that to. not be fair to other people? Well, there's one country called San Marino uh -huh. where this woman called Valentina Moneta has entered like all times but like three for San Marino. So this is this year then? Yeah, this is France. It's such a bomb. Oh, I like this one, you know. And is that her music video for her? Yeah. Did I have to... <gasps> this is this our is one. UK. I've seen yeah. her. Right, so I've seen everyone talking about her. I think she could got a good chance of winning. Uh, she's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think we yeah, could do well. Yeah, I think that could do really well. I'm excited for the outfit. Do they have to go all out at the Eurovision? Oh, if if you're not wearing rhinestones, you're not doing Eurovision. I feel so sad about that time we had zero points. I'm going to make a phone call. <laughs> a phone call to James Newman to be like, babe, I'm sorry you did. <laughs> you didn't get any points. <laughs> now you've got all the Eurovision knowledge you need. Make sure you tune into the semi-finals on Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. And the grand final on Saturday at 8 p.m. on BBC One and BBC iPlayer.